All right, today we're doing an oil change on the 2009 Ford Taurus. Um, just turned 300,000 miles on this car. And uh, you check it out. Manufacturer date, 1008. So, Three, 300,000 miles. I run synthetic uh, mobile one. Used to run Valvoline. Hide my license plate. I don't give a crap. Um, but this car, I started to use a mobile one. And uh, so far, so good. 300,000 miles speaks for itself. Let's get this thing started. Okay, the first thing I do is uh, drive it around, get the engine up to temperature. So I have a nice warm engine. Next thing I do is jack up the passenger side. I'll do that real quick. I always use a jack stand. I always leave the jack in there as well, so that gives me enough room to work under there. Go ahead and get my oil pan situated. Not sure what size it is, I always forget. All right. 15 millimeter. 15 millimeter. Right. I'll let that drain out. Now while we do some other things. These socks are bad. When it's cold outside, it won't hold the hood up. But while the oil is draining, I'm top off the hood. Glug 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 glug. All right, we're gonna do the air filter. There's a clip here. There's a clip here, which I already got. I'm not even going to bother pulling that off. There's enough room. You lift it up and push it that way. That releases the um, alignment pins from this side. Pull it up so it's clear. Now you can reach in here and get your filter. This one I know is about a year old. And... Uh, it's done. So, I'll go ahead and put the old Wix filter in here. It was on sale. And as I don't live in a dusty environment, 
uh, air filters are only needed in Wisconsin for five or six months out of the year. It mostly filters bugs more than air, so uh, not so important up here. A year's worth of driving for me is uh, 30 to 40,000 miles. So, all right. Getting it back in can be a pain in the ass. There it goes. You got to get those uh, pins, pins to line up back there, and then it all slides right in place. New filter. All right. All right. So that's how you do an air filter. Got the battery terminal. Make sure that's clean enough. It's a new battery. It's only a few months old. So that's all been taken care of. Let's peek in here. I never look in here. What's this for? Oh boy, that looks like a brake fluid. You know, one of my videos when I get some help is going to be to flush the uh, brake fluid out of this car. 300,000 miles, 12 years old, uh, 13 really. Um, it's probably got some water in it by now. So I'll check the transmission fluid after I get the oil changed. So, all right, we're going to move back underneath and get the uh, oil filter done. All right. oil filter is conveniently right here. I mean it's right right underneath the front of the car. Okay. I'm still dripping back here. I'm going to give it another couple of minutes to let the drip die down to a dribble. And uh Right there, we're still drippy, drippy. So, because I know when I take this filter off up here, it's going to spill all over the place. So, I'll bring you back. Okay, so let's take the oil filter out of this car. Um, I usually do my own oil changes. So, ah. A little bit tight. This will drip out of here a little bit. I'll let that drain down. Now I have to go pee. Dang it. <laughs> Too bad. Like to make sure there's no gasket left up onto the uh, uh, seal surface. I've had them come off the uh, oil can before. And, uh, 
they leak a lot. All right, so I'm going to just take some old oil, put it on the new filter. All right. Now, it is just touching the gasket. And I give it about half a turn. That's all you give it. Half a turn, maybe. That's it. That's all you need. Do not put a wrench on it. All right. So, let's get some oil in this thing and see what happens. Okay, 5W30, a uh, 5W20, excellent. Alright, we're going to go with the Mobile One. Extended performance, 20,000 mile protection. Okay, I usually change my oil, believe it or not, 10 to 15,000 miles. So, say what you will about it. This car has 300,000 miles on it. So this is a five quart jug of oil. And this car takes, I think, five and a half, six and a half, something like that. So. A couple of oil changes ago, I screwed up. And bought the wrong kind of oil. Well, it had, it was a mobile one. But it's, uh... Zero W20. So, instead of kind of wasting it, I just topped off that last quart with zero W20. Which I'm okay with. Alright, let me pull out the dipstick here. Or should I call it the uh, oil level sensor? Just in case we uh, offend somebody by saying dipstick. Okay, so that is... Looks like it's right on the money at five quarts, but there's no oil in the oil filter yet. So I'm going to go start her up, get some oil pressure, and uh, check the oil again. Think he'll stay there? Well, let's find out. All right, so we are down about a quart, down about a quart. Oh, 
were so close. A little bit splash more. I think that'll do it. That uh, Mobile One was on sale uh, and it had a $10 mailing rebate. So I bought, ended up buying three five quart Mobile Ones. Each of them had a $10 rebate. So I got a $30 back on the uh, oil. So this oil change cost me six dollars. So, pleased about that. All right, let's fire it up again. Your device is connected. All right, oil pressure is good. Sweet. I have reset the oil oil change uh, light, so I have directions written down here. I can never remember how to do it. Let's see. Set up twice. Hold for reset. Power on. Set Your up. device is connected. Set up. All right. Your device is connected. I like it. One oil change. 2009 war Taurus. I will check the oil level here. One last time. Say that is about as close as you need to get it. Right there. So, good enough. One last thing to do is start it up. Check my transmission oil. Just want to see what it looks like. Just don't know where the damn dipstick is. Oh. There it is. There it is. Let me fire it up. Got one more thing to do here. Got to pour that oil 
into the oil container I bought you the oil with. Go back to O'Reilly's. Let them dump it out. And, uh, I'm gonna go pick me up some socks. I'll see how much O'Reilly gets for theirs. Maybe I'll invest a few dollars. So I'll bring you back. Thanks for watching. Now, I've got this problem. Dum -da -da -dum. Yeah. So I have new shock struts here. And uh, I got them from O'Reilly's and I thought I was getting a deal. Online, you can get a pair of them. They're like $24. $18, $24. I don't trust the really cheap ones. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. So I went to O'Reilly's because I kind of wanted them. Uh, get it done. Spring maintenance on the old Ford. And uh, so I ordered it online. It was 20 bucks. I thought, sweet. I went there. It was only one. So I paid $40 for the pair. But that's okay. I had a coupon. So I actually only paid, uh, I think, uh, $30 for the pair. So, not bad. I'll take it. So, let's put those in see how that goes. I think I'm going to set you up and uh, bring you right back. Alright, so we're going to just pry it on off of here. My screwdriver. Is there a better way to do this? I don't know. There we go. All right. Well, there's that way. Look up here. There you go. Right, this guy off here. Oh, that broke. All right. All right. So this is what I've got. Um, sure, why not? So first, on the top here, can you see that? You just, there's a hole, there's a knob, Ask the hole. She says yes. There you go. So, not too hard. No more stick. I already did this side. So, good. Hopefully I never have to replace those again. Um, I think this is the first time. So I suppose it's a 2009 Ford Taurus. And uh, we did a basic service on this. Believe it or not, I changed the spark plugs in this car about 100,000 miles ago. I should probably do it again. They had 200,000 miles on them when I did them. But uh, uh, in order to do that, you need to take the intake manifold off. So I'm in no hurry to do that again. It's running good, leave it alone. So there you go. Basic oil change, air filter, maintenance for a 2009 Ford Taurus. I am going to have to replace the wheel bearing. Yay! I did the back wheel bearings um, last summer. I did the front wheel bearings in 2018. And I bought the cheap Detroit axle wheel bearings. 
uh, for those, and 120,000 miles on them, and I'm having a problem again, so, is that a good wheel bearing, or is that a bad wheel bearing? Theoretically, you'd like it to last 175,000, like the last one did, but for half the price, I'll, I'll take the cheap one, so, and they're not hard to do. And I have a squeak in the brake. So I want to take it all apart and figure out what the hell is squeaking in my brakes. It's a, a squeak that you hear only when you press on the pedal. So it doesn't squeak like when you're coming to a stop or starting. or Only when you put your foot down on the pedal and let go. It goes eek, 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 eek. I can't figure it out. So, Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit like. Make a comment. If I did something wrong, let me know. I appreciate you guys watching. A thumbs thumbs up always helps because that way YouTube sends more people to my videos. That's why we like it when you do that. So, all right, have a good day. Bye bye. More final look. See if there's any oil dripping from the oil filter or the drain plug over here. Everything looks good. So, all right. Now it's a job complete.